Hello, I'm Sebastian Lindholm from Trimble, and I'm going to show you the plugins we have for reinforcing curved geometry in Tecla structures. The plugins are called Concrete Bridge Reinforcement and can be found here on Tecla Warehouse, and they have been developed with bridge decks in mind. So once installed, they appear here in the component catalog in Tecla structures. Traditionally, they have been used to reinforce bridge decks that are generated with the beam extruder extension but now they are updated to work with concrete items as well. So what I have here is a concrete bridge deck that's been modeled in Rhino Grasshopper and then brought to Tecla Structures using the Grasshopper link we have. But it could have been created with another software and imported as well. The only requirement is that it should be modeled as a set of cross sections that follow after each other. So that means that if I have here the corner points of the deck I should be able to find corresponding points here in the first cross section and so on all along the bridge deck. So with that in mind, let's take a look at how the plugins work. So first I have a plugin here for creating longitudinal bars in the deck. So I select the plugin, it asks me to pick a part for determining the bar range and then to pick two points and finally another two points to pick the direction. And then it asks me to pick the parts to reinforce, but since we only have one part, I can skip that step with the middle mouse button. And what it now did is to insert some longitudinal bars here all along the deck. And they curve along with the deck, as you see. So I can, of course, go in here and edit the properties. If I want to add another bar, I change the number of, of bars we have. And I can change the, the cover thickness or the length of the bars and some other things that see here. The next plugin is called zip crossbars here in the interface and I do this now in a similar way so first I pick a part then I'm asked to pick points to determine the shape of the bars and then the direction and the parts to reinforce and here it inserted now crossing bars all along the deck. And this plugin can also be used to insert stirrups. So if I pick the shape here underneath and then the direction, you see that I get some kind of stirrups. And maybe I want to now extend the end of the stirrups all the way up to the top of the deck. I can do it here from the options. Okay, so they went actually through the top of the deck, so I can cut them back a bit here with the offsets. And now I'm happy with that. And the final plugin we have here is called Stirrups. So that can be used to insert groups of stirrups along the bridge deck, like this. And okay, that looks a bit crowded, so I'll remove one of the groups. And here you see the syrups following all the way to the end of the bridge. And we can also reinforce more complex shapes. So for example here I have another bridge deck which is has a varying cross section and additionally it's modeled as three separate items. So again, I can go here, pick the main bars, pick a part, pick two points, and then the direction. And finally I'll select all three items here. And let's add a few more bars to see what's going on here. So you see what it did, it follows the varying cross section nicely and it goes over the boundaries of the items and reinforces the bridge deck all the way to the end. And you can also reinforce curved self-intersecting decks like the one you see here or other kind of objects. So for example here we have a wall which is modeled as a curved beam. So we can go ahead and try out the plugins here. Pick the part pick two points. Maybe we can add a few more bars to see it clearly. 
and some crossbars like this and we can reinforce polybeams the same way and of course they still work with uh, Dex created with the beam extrude extension and there's been an improvement so previously you were only able to reinforce decks that bent at most 90 degrees but now even if it bends a full 380 that's not a problem so then we need to select all the parts here and here you can see how it goes all the way around <laughs> 